folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Several years ago, I bought a Pro Shot one piece cleaning rod, stainless steel. It's an awesome rod. This has served me a, a, a lot of good purpose over the years. In fact, the rod is, if I remember correctly, it was for a 177. Yes, it is uh, 0.15. Six, so it can clean a 177 caliber uh, rifle or barrel. So then I got on a uh, Black Heron's website, BlackHeron.com. I'll put a uh, link in the uh, video description below. And Pro Shot actually comes out with a pretty nice uh, gun cleaning kit. Same stainless steel rods, except this one breaks down. So the advantage, obviously, of breaking down is that now you don't have to worry about transporting this one-piece rod and, more importantly, not getting it bent. Now, there's some guys that say, hey, you know, I would never use a, uh, a breakdown rod or one that screws together, but I can promise you that the joints on this rod are very tight and clean. We'll go ahead and put it together. Once again, the uh, Pro Shot cleaning system. This rides on bearings is, is just extremely smooth. The big advantage there is as you're cleaning, you're running a brush or a patch down the barrel. You're not um, fighting the lands and grooves in the rifling. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to see what the uh, length of this rod is. Okay, so I got my handy dandy yardstick here. This is 32 and a half inches from the end of the handle to the threaded section where you can put in a jag or a brush. Plenty long enough to clean even 30 inch uh, bench rest rifles or even precision long range rifles. Just to check too, this is the uh, 25 cal 6.5 millimeter or 264 rod. I'll just carefully measure it. This measures 0 0.203. So plenty of clearance. So what else comes with this kit? You get the Pro Shot Products One Step CLP Gun Cleaner, Lubricant and Protectant, no doubt. Then you get a nice nylon uh, brush. Good for ARs, 15s and 10s. Oh, look at this. Also comes with a uh, muzzle protector. If you don't have the advantage of cleaning from the breech end, like let's say a lever action or a pump, comes with a uh, typical uh, patch through the slot and the one I like is the uh, Jag. Oh, that's pretty nice. It also has a uh, this is kind of like a fiber optic bore light so you can examine your rifle the rifling and it comes with a a brush and a uh, bore mop. So let's go ahead and uh, I've got my uh, AR-10. It also comes with a uh, little uh, Pro Shot Pro Gold lubricant for after you clean the rifle it also comes with a nice, I don't know if this is a chamois style, silicon cloth, okay. Directions, wipe on to remove dust and fingerprints leaves a protective film. So it does have some kind of a, a protectant impregnated in the cloth itself. So let's go ahead and uh, start cleaning my rifle. Got a setup going here. I'm going to try the uh, One Step CLP. So I'm going to screw on the uh, Jag. Tell you what, you can't beat the quality on these uh, Pro Shot rods. I mean, uh, even, I don't know if you're, if you're going to be able to see the uh, sections, but the sections are just perfect. You can hardly feel them. And this rod, from my understanding, is hardened, so it will not pick up any debris. Because, you know, that's one thing a lot of guys say with the sectioned rods, you run the risk of picking up debris and damaging your barrel, which I don't see that happening. So let me get my uh, patches started here. A little dab in there. And we'll start it down the chamber here. That's a nice fit. Oh yeah. So as you can see, there is some fouling on the patch. Not a, not tr a tremendous amount, but there is some fouling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, I'm going to take the bore mop so I can get some of the solvent uh, saturated in the barrel itself. One thing nice about this applicator, it has the, I don't know if you guys can see that needle, uh, so you're not wasting a lot of solvent. So I'll just saturate this mop with the solvent. Okay, we'll go ahead and run that down the bore. 
And notice I'm not touching the, the uh, stainless steel rod itself. I'm just letting the, I'm grabbing the red handle and letting it uh, freely rotate. Okay. So we'll take the uh, mop off. I'll go ahead and uh, screw on the brush here. We'll run the brush down there a couple times. Now, this is where the rotating rod on the handle has the advantage because you're not fighting the rifling. The, br the bristles are actually rotating freely. All right, we'll let that solvent soak in a little bit. Remove the brush. We're gonna get the uh, jag back on there. We'll go ahead and start running some patches through the barrel. So you can see, that was the first patch that I ran and then I, I swabbed the bore with the uh, one step CLP with the uh, mop and then I ran the uh, I ran the brush and then I ran another patch through there we'll start running some more patches <coughs> and as you can see the patches are progressively coming out cleaner and cleaner we'll do one more here yeah that's pretty good not bad at all all right, folks, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to discuss a little bit about barrels, uh, internal barrels. You know, like if you have a factory barrel, you are going to be fighting uh, cleaning the barrel more so than this is a uh, this is an Odin Works uh, custom barrel for my AR-10 6.5 Creedmoor. This barrel is hand lapped. And the only reason why I bring that up is that a hand lapped barrel is going to be almost to a mirror polish finish therefore it will not attract or should I say copper fouling and or carbon fouling will not foul the barrel as much as let's say a factory barrel that is not hand lapped just keep that in mind you know it's and, and that's why I shoot all custom hand lap barrels it makes cleaning such an easy process so I want you all to go to blackheron.com they not only uh, carry the Redding dies, as you've seen, I've done some reviews on, but they now carry the Pro Shot uh, products, awesome cleaning products. Uh, you know, I've, that's what I've been using all these years, cleaning my rifles and pistols, and I'm just very impressed with them. Check out the video description uh, below in the links. Remember, support our Second Amendment rights. We'll see you all later.